I hope today's video is kind of fun and interesting as I am combining two of our video series together. One of those is our Pack T series. That's where we do precision, accuracy, consistency, and terminal performance testing of all different sorts of bullets. Mostly we have been testing pistol bullets, but occasionally we have done some rifle rounds, and today we're doing a rifle round. And in particular, it is the Hornady A-tip match, 230 grain bullet for my 300 PRC. And here's the combination now. About a year ago, I did a reloading series, our extreme reloading series, and I focused on reloading for that 300 PRC in my Barrett MRAD rifle. Now the final result is um, that bullet right there performed quite well in all of my testing. I ended up using H1000 powder, worked up a really nice load, typically giving me about 0.58, 0 0.59, right around there, between 0.5 and let's say 0.6 MOA, five shot groups at 100 yards. So, today we're gonna go out and we're gonna do a pack T test. Five rounds from that particular bullet, for that particular bullet, shot from prone at 100 yards. That will then uh, allow me to measure precision on that round. Accuracy will be a bullseye score from that target. Consistency is the standard deviation of that five shot group from my lab radar chronograph. And finally, the T component is terminal performance of that match bullet shot at 100 yards into a 20% NATO gel block. And uh, we're gonna see how that does. Actually, that to me is probably the most important or intriguing part of all this. How does or how will a match bullet perform terminally. Hey, after we shoot all that, stick around. We're going to talk about the results, discuss those things, and figure out how good of a bullet this really is. Thanks for sticking around, and we're going to wrap up these Pack T results. In some ways, I don't have too much to talk about, but let's walk through it step by step like we normally do, and we're going to start by looking at the precision, accuracy, and consistency 
results. The extreme spread of that five shot group was 0.583 inch or 0.56 MOA. The accuracy score was 47 points out of a possible 50 points with zero in the bullseye. Now I have not changed the zero on this particular rifle as I'm still considering other loads, um, but I'm pretty much there on this one. I, I'm gonna re-zero that fairly soon. But if I had re-zeroed that rifle for this particular bullet, the score like we're looking at right now with this bullseye overlay is really just fantastic. 50 points out of 50 points and every one, all five of those bullets inside the X. Now that is sheer perfection. You couldn't get a better accuracy score than that. But now we look at the consistency and I like to see single digit standard deviation of muzzle velocities on all of my hand loads. Wow, I like to see it on every uh, five shot group that I fire. We didn't quite make it. We got 14.6 feet per second standard deviation with an average muzzle velocity of 2,756 feet per second. Now the velocity of this bullet at the target was approximately or estimated to be 2,658 feet per second. Now that's interesting because the Hornady Ford Off app pretty much estimates that velocity. And when I look at the shot tracks from the lab radar, by the way, only four of the five shots were recorded. But when I look at those tracks, the tracks that made it all the way out to recording values at 100 yards was pretty much right there, 2658. So that's kind of cool to see that level uh, of agreement. Now the mean radius of this group is quite good. The mean radius is 0.24 of an inch or about a quarter of an inch mean radius between these five different bullet impacts. Now the terminal performance results Difficult to say too much about that. Few things that we can say. Number one, looking at the maximum temporary wound channel captured by that camera, that is tremendous. It's massive. I mean, it absolutely filled that 16 inch by 6 inch by 6 inch, 20% NATO gel blocks. Just filled it with that temporary wound channel and it's going so darn fast 2600 plus feet per second at the target that temporary wound channel will cause lethality and destruction of soft tissues but that bullet effectively disintegrated it did exit the 16 inch gel block it did not travel in a straight course uh, it exited out of the corner and, and, and it made kind of a turn and was traveling downward as it was traveling through that gel block. I did not retrieve any sort of meaningful fragments. Oh, I can see things uh, in that first gel block, but as far as uh, measuring maximum expansion or uh, residual weight, Nothing. I can't say anything about that. So if you're thinking about using a match bullet that has very, very nice precision, if you're thinking about using that bullet for hunting, let this be a good example to you. Now, you might be able to kill soft tissue, soft skin or thin skin game, big game even, uh, with a bullet like this, a match type bullet. But a thick skinned or heavy game animal, that is not a good choice. Uh, you might think, wow, that was tremendous. Well, it, it looked tremendous and for some pure soft tissue, and I will note again though, this was a soft barrier type of test, just a couple of layers of sweatshirt material in the front of that. 
Um, so that's really emulating just soft skin, really thin skin. And then of course it, it did a tremendous, very dramatic looking uh, temporary wound channel inside that gel block. But if that, if that were a heavy game animal, thick skinned, maybe lots of muscle, bone, you probably are going to be tracking that animal and may lose it. It'll wound it, but that's not what we're after. There are so many better bullets for hunting uh, that this, and pretty much I would say match bullets in general, shouldn't even be considered. One of the great bullets that are available out there are things like the Barnes X bullets, all the different types of Barnes bullets. Tremendous terminal performance, but I've never had a uh, Barnes bullet shoot as precisely as this one. That's the trade-off. But you do not need that level of precision for most of your uh, big game hunting. Well, I'm interested in your take on all of this. Maybe you've got some ideas. Uh, maybe you've got some observations that you've made with bullets similar to this, match type bullets, or the Barnes bullets for hunting. Uh, if you have something that you'd like to add, please post that in the comments, and thank you for watching.